What's up you guys? It's Pokegirl7 here and in today's video I'm doing something that I've been terrified to do for years now. So people have always asked me if I will react to my first ever video that I posted on YouTube and for so long I've been scared to do it <laughs> out of embarrassment and honestly I had no idea what I was doing. This video is from January 18th, 2017. So this is a long time before I ever had success on YouTube and then I've definitely come a long way. You'll see I've gotten better at talking to the camera and just I'm interested to see how much I've actually changed since I first filmed this video. I'm sure a lot of my mannerisms have changed. Some things may even be the same. Uh, this specific video is going to be like an about me Q&A type video. It's kind of embarrassing because I asked myself the questions in the video because I didn't have fans yet <laughs> at the time. <laughs> But you guys will see. I'm really curious how I'm gonna react to my younger self. I actually put this video on private years ago now. Like a lucky 2,500 people have seen it before it was put on private. <laughs> but it's been forever since I've actually looked at it and um, let's just see how far I've come in the last five years. Dear God, so first of all, we're filming in vertical video format. <laughs> and let's talk about that side part I had, y'all. I held on for so long to the side part in my hair. Honestly, I didn't even change it until like a year ago. <laughs> and it was, it got really dramatic at one point. It looked really bad. So, oh God, let's start the video. Hey guys, it's Caitlin, AKA Pokey Girl 7 And I just wanted to let you know ahead of time, in this video, I definitely play with my hair a lot and I'm using <laughs> the camera around, around a lot. I'm sorry. The fact that I had to say, I had to give a warning, a disclaimer, that I played with my hair a lot. Oh my god. I still do that, but I've sort of disowned it. People talk about it a lot on my streams on Twitch. Like, I'm always touching my hair and stuff. That is hilarious <laughs> that I gave a hair-touching disclaimer. Uh, I also want to say I'm wearing a lot of makeup in this video. It's kind of wild. This was, like, my makeup phase. Like, 2016, 2017, I feel like a lot of the girls were into makeup and all that stuff because of YouTube. <laughs> But my voice, I feel like my accent is so much more Southern in this video. It's before I became a little bit more civilized. <laughs> Let's keep going. Um, I don't have a mount for my cell phone right now. Yeah, I record with just my cell phone. So it gets a little shaky when I'm trying to hold up the phone. Oh my god, it's like watching another person. I don't even recognize myself. I'm so much more Southern and my accent is so country and... It's kind of sad that I felt the need to apologize so much. <laughs> like, I really didn't have anything at this time. No camera mounts, no, nothing really. I'm still pretty uh, amateur when it comes to all that stuff. But back then, I had no idea what I was doing. I just knew I wanted to start making YouTube videos. And it's kind of funny. This is just me going at it and not really knowing what I'm doing at all. And talk to you guys. So yeah, and the thing with me playing with my hair, I just get really nervous and it's just like a thing I don't even Oh know. yeah, I was filming this with an Android. I was filming this with like a really old Android. I can't remember what it was, but it was a really crappy phone. And it's just like a thing I don't even notice I'm doing. So sorry if that gets a little bit annoying. My and accent. yeah, let's just get into it. Oh my it. god. Caitlin, aka Pokey Girl 7. And today the I'm awkward, going to do the awkward transition between Alright, let's go. <laughs> Hi, I'm Caitlin, and it didn't even sound right. And I, it's funny, I introdu introduced myself as Caitlin, aka Pokey Girl 7. So at this point, this is when I had already decided I wanted to be Pokey Girl 7. And I knew I wanted to make like Pokemon Go stuff, um, but I just had no idea how to approach it yet, other than sort of getting inspiration from other people that I watched at the time. Um, let's keep going. I can't talk through this whole thing. <laughs> An About Me video. Uh, as you can see, I've got my little notepad ready to go. So this is just going to be a quick video just to let um, everyone know a little bit more about me. So when you're watching my video, it's not like I'm just some mystery person. And I did it in good lighting today, so you can actually see me and, you know, oh, know more so about me. Oh, that's so sweet. I think at this point I had done some, like, screen recording videos with my voice in them. This was sort of like my face reveal moment, I think. I think this was, like, the first time I really recorded myself. And um, I was so shy back then. I, had, I I didn't really know who I was yet. I was only 19 in this video, which is so weird. I'm about to turn 25 on April 4th. So this is just so strange to see 19 year old me just like so shy and timid and wearing a lot more makeup. <laughs> I was like 40 pounds lighter though. That's one thing. It's so weird seeing myself like skinny <laughs> and young. <laughs> 
which I, I actually was going through some health issues at this time um, back then. I am a type 1 diabetic, and this was a time that I didn't have any health insurance, and my health was depleting, and um, I, I was in really bad condition. Luckily, things have gotten better since then, but it's weird seeing myself in this state of just young innocence, you know? Okay, let's just keep going. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with this list. Um, number one is my age. I'm 19 years old. 19. <laughs> and uh, I'll be 20 in April. Um, I'm married. Yeah, I got married when I was 18. And a lot of people think I'm crazy, but actually it's really not that hard. I mean, you just have to stay faithful and make sure you marry your best. Oh my God. Okay. So this was the time I was going through it. Like everyone around me, I got married when I was 18, right? So this is like a year after I got married. Um, actually almost two years after we got married, but it's weird. Cause back then when I told people that I was married, you could tell that I'm used to the reaction of like, what? You're so young and that sort of thing. It's so weird how the dynamic has changed now that I'm older. I'm in my mid twenties now. It's not as it's not as much of a reaction. No one ever tells me I'm too young to be married anymore. But back then, I was so apologetic about being married and I had to convince people it's not that hard when you're young. Now, granted, there are hard parts about being married young, especially 18. Like, I got married straight as soon as I turned 18. But I remember being so defensive and I was trying to convince people all the time, like, it's not that bad, it's not that bad. <laughs> That's so funny to watch, though. I want someone that you barely know, you know, so... Yeah, that's a crazy thing at my age being married. I know most people Aww. at least wait till they're 25, 30 years old nowadays because everybody's scared of commitment. <laughs> the the low-key shade I threw, I'm like, everyone's scared of commitment. Oh my God, I was kind of shady. <laughs> I was just tired of hearing it at this point. It, it was a pretty rough thing going through that transition, like everyone around me being like, you shouldn't be married yet. It was like really toxic. So you can tell I was over it. That's so funny. Uh, anyways, <laughs> um, I also have a dog oh, yeah. named Ruger. You can actually see him here. Um, That's he's so playing funny. around in the leaves. Yeah, we're letting him stay outside because it's like 60 Aww. degrees here. This was like a year so after really we first here, got Ruger. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we love him to death. He's whining right now because he's got stuck on a branch. And he can only go so far. He's sad because he can't get to me. Oh my so god, I'll that's so awkward. Quick. I was so awkward and apologetic and shy. Like, I still have those tendencies, but it's weird to see the lack of confidence I had in myself. And you can tell that I had been dumbed down a lot by people around me. Like, just treated like a little girl a lot. I had a lot of that vibe. I've become more of, like, a stronger woman, I guess, with age and experience. Like, it's kind of crazy to watch myself just be so young and, like, self-doubtful it's kind of depressing i'm like thank god I, I learned a little bit but you can tell this was the time that i was still treated like a little girl a lot and it, it really came out in the way that i like presented myself lately of course it's been pokemon go obviously because that's the main point of this channel um i also used to play a lot of other games like call of duty pretty much all of those um the tray art games are my favorite you know like World at War, all the Black Ops games, all of that. It's funny because if you ask me the same thing today, I would say the same stuff. Like, I still do play Call of Duty. Me and my husband play together and um, still stand by the Treyarch statement. They're my favorite Call of Duty games. And of course, this was when Pokemon Go was first kind of becoming my hobby. Like, uh, it took me a while to play Pokemon Go. It was really popular in 2016 when it came out. But I'm one of those people that if something's really popular and I hear about it too much, I don't really give it a chance for a while. I'm like, oh, it's just just this overhyped thing. It's going to die down eventually. But um, I'm, I'm stupid. I'm like one of those girls that tries to be not like the other girls. <laughs> I don't know. That sort of attitude. Like if something's popular, I try to resist it. It's so stupid. But I'm glad I gave in and gave it a chance. And this was the time I really was really into watching Pokemon Go YouTube and just playing it a lot. Um, I'm not a big fan of the Infinity Ward games, even though I did play them. Um, I didn't spend as much time on those, I guess. But yeah, um, I also used to play a lot of racing games like Midnight Club True. LA, things like True. that. Um, lately, I've not been much of a console gamer, though. Like My husband still plays like Skyrim, things like Very that. True. And I don't know what it is. I can't really get into it as much lately. Maybe that'll change, though. I go through little time periods where I play a lot of games and then... Sometimes I don't play games for months That's at a time. That's actually still true. I don't really play much console games anymore. I mean, the only console I play is the Nintendo Switch. I'm really into handheld stuff and 
that's pretty much it. I don't really play like Xbox a lot or even PC games. I don't play a lot of PC games right now either. I've, I've kind of just stayed in that handheld gamer mode. The only thing I play is Call of Duty Warzone sometimes on the console, but other than that, I'm it's still pretty a, a pretty true statement. But um, another game that I play is Sims Free Play on my phone. Um, oh my god! I always really like Sims, but the one on you can get it on Android and iPhone. Um, that app is the best Sims that I've ever played. It's really oh yeah. Listen, y'all are sleeping on Sims Free Play and just Sims game in general. I went through a hardcore Sims phase at this time. Really fun. They always give you something new to do new things to work for and um you can customize your houses and things like that a lot niantic should take notes from how much sims free play updates their mobile game like they have a lot of really fun events in that game and uh yeah another one of my hobbies besides gaming is art um i've been painting a lot lately um i'm not really <laughs> the best i can do like shading and lighting but i can't really do like details still true much. still you know, very true um, I like to do a lot of nature scenes, like Bob Ross. I've been watching a lot of Bob Ross on you on a uh, Netflix, and he's really entertaining because uh, he's really crazy, but he's really talented. <laughs> Why did I say Bob Ross was crazy? <laughs> like he's literally not at all. <laughs> but it's still true. I I still do like art and stuff. I'm still not good at it, but whatever. Rest in peace, Bob Ross. Um, yeah, I've been trying to do that lately. Eventually, I'll get better at that and maybe start showing yeah, my painters if me. I get really good. It's not um, going to happen. I did a winter scene recently with like mountains and trees and it was actually really good, but I still so need to practice. Hope. <laughs> and, um, another thing that kind of pertains to art is makeup. I really love doing makeup. Um, mostly, I only get to do makeup on myself, which is actually a good way to experiment because if I mess up, I'm not going <laughs> to get beat up What am I talking anything. about? I still do really like makeup, but I've moved past the want to do it on other people. Um, that used to be what I wanted to do, but I still like doing my own makeup and stuff. It's just sort of like a little, I wouldn't even really call it a hobby because I do it so often. It's just part of life for me at this point, but it's fun. But um, eventually I do want to go to school to become a makeup artist. Um, I've been contemplating on this for years now, ever since high school. I did want to be a hairstylist and makeup artist and nail technician, you know, three in one. But now I'm really just into makeup and I might go to beauty school just for that part to get lozenges so I can actually charge Lossons. people for my work and everything. <laughs> the way I said that. But it's still true actually. Like, well, it's not true anymore. Like if I wouldn't have done YouTube, I probably would have continued into the cosmetology world and uh, got my license and everything because uh, back then I had like 700 hours, I think, in cosmetology and I was close to being able to get my state license and all that stuff and maybe work at a salon but you can kind of see in my face when I talk about it I didn't really want to do it it was sort of the thing that my older sister did it and I was going to try to like follow in her footsteps because I just never really had anything that I was passionate about I never had a sense of direction and like what I wanted to do with my life so I kind of just picked something and latched to it and makeup was fun so it was like why not just pick something I like and kind of make a job out of it but you could kind of tell in my demeanor here that I wasn't really fully passionate about it and um, I'm glad that I ended up having success on YouTube because it kind of showed me, it opened so many doors to like possibilities of what I could do with my life and gave me more of a sense of direction. And while I still do find myself being this lost little girl sometimes, it's a lot better at this point. Um, I found myself enough to guide myself in the right directions, at least, at least a little bit more because I was pretty lost back there, back then in this video. But... You know, ever since I got married, um, me and my husband come up with all of these new ideas together and it just seems like, I don't know if makeup is the best thing for me. It might just be fun for me to do on myself and maybe friends, things like that. But I don't know if I want to make a career out of it anymore. I'm actually glad yeah, I did Yeah, I really it. do love doing makeup, um, especially when I'm not feeling <laughs> lazy. Like today I actually did a full face. Still true. In my last two videos, I didn't really put on that much makeup, but... Yeah, that's what I do wear a lot less than I did back then. Um, number three on my list is why I started oh YouTube. Boy. So basically, I've been wanting to do YouTube videos ever since YouTube came out, obviously. But I mean, I've always, I was a kid when it first came out, and you know, I never really had the tools. And like nowadays, it's really easy to make videos and upload videos and stuff. But back in the day, it was like you had to have a lot of technology and things but you know everybody has very all true i remember back in the day like i really wanted a good camera and that stuff was really expensive phone cameras weren't even to the point where you could make videos like this like this video really sucks but at least you can see me and hear me right like a few years before this it was way worse and 
being a YouTuber was really hard and I feel like the startup was more challenging. I feel like nowadays it's a little a little easier to start up with technology that you probably have anyways, like phones and stuff. That's a big thing. You can edit videos on your phones. I used to edit all my videos on a phone on that same Android I was filming on here. Um, it wasn't good by any means, but it was a start. So I still agree with my statement here. So um, I've always wanted to do makeup you know beauty guru top videos things like that my um, accent <laughs> i did make them for a while but i never uploaded them because i just didn't feel like i had the skill and you know the quality of video wasn't the best low-key i still have a channel up that has a couple of those horrible makeup videos that are literally the worst video ever <laughs> and um if you find them good luck that's that's for you but you can't really find it by searching like Poke Girl 7 and stuff, but it's on there and I can't find the login or I can't figure out how to get into the account to delete the videos or make them private. So if you want to watch me when I was like 16 ish doing makeup, <laughs> it's on there somewhere. <laughs> but um, ever since Pokemon Go came out, I've been watching a lot of YouTubers and I'll mention those YouTubers later. But um, I just really like watching I people's who adventures I'm on Pokemon about. Go and I've been a diehard fan of Pokemon Go for years. Like me and my brother were obsessed when we were younger oh. with generation one and then as we got older i meant to say pokemon not pokemon go i was obsessed with pokemon for years <laughs> we were like age 11 or 12 we were really obsessed with pokemon go i think it was generation two and three at that point i can't even remember i lost track a long time ago <laughs> but um yeah we've always been really into it played all of the game boy games and collected all the cards and i still have a big collection of cards somewhere I think my brother probably has them, um, but yeah, I'm going to try to look for those and ask him about those and maybe I'll make like a collection video because I have some really cool cards. My favorite card that I have is this. Guys, I never got my cards. I have a massive childhood collection somewhere on this planet, but never got it back. Kind of sad. Holographic Jolteon. I loved my Jolteon. I think it's in <laughs> Japanese and like I always was obsessed with that card. I thought it was really cool and probably expensive. I don't know. I, I don't think it was that expensive. Everywhere. <laughs> But yeah, um, I wanted to make a YouTube to start doing the Pokemon Go, but um, another thing is, like, me and my husband uh, have always been hearing about how you can get paid from YouTube <laughs> for doing advertisements, and I always thought that was cool. I mean, it's not much of a payout, especially right now that I only have two subscribers, you know? Oh my god, I had two subscribers in this video. That's crazy. Because right now we're at, like, 96,000. I had two subscribers in this video. I was really curious. I was hoping I would say something in this. Oh my gosh. I was like, yeah, I heard you can get paid. Now, granted, I actually was kind of right. Like, the payout isn't amazing. Um, like, it depends how you look at it. Like, you have to get a lot of views to really have a livable income. Like, right now, currently, ever since I quit doing Pokemon Go content, my views are way down. And I'm pretty much making nothing from my videos. Like, it does take a pretty good, like... Um, consistent amount of views to make a lot of money on YouTube and to have a livable income. So that's why if you're not on my Patreon and you want to help support me and my dreams of making YouTube content, that's a great way to do that for extra financial support. Well, I kind of figure out my path here on YouTube because, listen, you got to get a lot of views. Even at my peak of like the most views I ever got in Pokemon Go, um, even then I wasn't making what people think YouTubers make. People think YouTubers are like loaded, you know, and I mean... In some perspectives, I didn't get a lot of views anyway, but in other perspectives, I had quite a lot of views, and I feel like I should have got paid a little bit more for the views I had over time, but um, I was I was kind of right. At least I went into this knowing that it's not like a get-rich-quick scheme. I was, I was more intelligent than I remember being about it. But eventually, I mean, maybe it could work out. Not Probably not as a full-time job for a really long time, but I was it's right. just cool that you can get paid to do something you love. I was very right. I was kind of making like a full-time job income for a little while back in like maybe like summer 2019. I had a really good peak and I was getting a lot of views and um, I had a lot of support on Patreon too, which really helped. So like there were things that made it pretty much a full-time income, but um, it's hard to stay on that train. You can, you can fall off really easily, you know, so... I'm back at square one, basically. And actually, my husband is planning on starting a YouTube channel soon. Um, he'll probably be <laughs> doing things like 
outdoorsy videos, shooting guns. You know, we live in the South. So that, that's like a really shooting thing. guns. <laughs> you know, it's funny. It actually took him a long time to like start posting a lot on YouTube, but right now he's been really consistent with it, and his channel is doing great, much better than mine actually. Like he's getting lots of views on his videos. So it's funny that, that it took a long time because I feel like our focus kind of went to my channel once it started taking off. But recently he started taking off on his channel too. So like, I feel like we really manifested a lot of things five years ago. Around here. Um, oh, that's another thing that I didn't mention. We live in Tennessee, you know, here's our scenery. Yeah, there's <laughs> our burn barrel that got destroyed last time we Can used you tell it because it's so rusty. Yeah, we just live in a little single wide trailer. It's not the best or anything, but you know, it's ours and we've worked on it a lot and we still will and continue to work on it. But anyways, I'll get back to Dustin's channel. Um, he'll probably be doing a lot of gun videos where he like shoots things, destroys things and probably- It's so funny because that is the channel that he's doing right now. That is what he does on his channel. He shoots guns and destroys things. <laughs> we have an ATV. I'll probably show that off here in a little bit. And uh. He'll probably be doing a lot of gaming videos like Skyrim, Call of Duty, things like that. He's a pretty big gamer too. And yeah, so whenever that does come out or he does do that, I will share his channel name and you guys can go Aww, check him out. I was so, so. hopeful. <laughs> okay. Number four is my favorites. I have a few... Hush, my dog's barking. <laughs> I have a few favorites that I wrote down. Um, my favorite color, this is a simple one, it's pink. Obviously, I mean, I'm pinked out all the time. Lipstick, hair, it's still shirt, <laughs> and black. I like black a lot. As in, I have like, not clothing, changed as much like as that. I expected. It's still and, the same uh, answers. Yeah, my music favorite. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I fixed that problem. <laughs> okay, so my. I said I fixed that problem. It sounds like I killed my dog. <laughs> favorite music I was gonna say is. Mostly um, heavy metal and rock. That's really what I've listened to my whole life. But um, yeah, Still true. I listen to a little bit of pop and country and rap, things like that. But just here and there, nothing like serious. You know, I'm really into mostly just rock and metal. My <laughs> nothing serious. It's honestly still the same. Like I do listen to other types of music, but those are still my primary tastes at the moment. I, I really haven't changed. <laughs> Favorite band has been Avenged Sevenfold for 10 years. They still uh -huh. are my favorite. They just came out with an album a while oh back God. and I've been really into them. Um, there's a few other bands that I could name, but I mean, honestly, I would be here all day. <laughs> so yeah, that's all I'm going to mention because they've been my absolute favorite for so many years. Fun fact, um, Avenged Sevenfold abbreviated is A7X. That's like their shortened shortened name i guess you could call that um my name in pokemon go originally was caitlin a7x like that's how much i was a fan of them still am but I, i've found other bands that i'm really into now but they'll always be like one of my original favorites so <laughs> yeah okay the next is my food favorites this one's a little bit tacky i don't know why i'm mentioning this no one really cares <laughs> <laughs> i was right but i really like japanese food and also really like chipotle me and my husband are obsessed with that place the closest one to here is like 50 miles away probably so still true actually we don't get to go a whole lot so still okay true. the next thing on my favorites is my favorite youtubers so i'm gonna mention a few here i have oh, no plenty that I can name. I mean, me and my husband watch YouTube videos literally all day, every day. So I could mention a lot, but these are like my top five. So my first is Ben Tim one. Um, he does Pokemon Go videos Aww. if you're not familiar with him. <laughs> him and his girlfriend, I think her name's Carla. Yeah, it's Carla. Okay. They just make like Aww. YouTube vlogs. of. Okay. Ben Tim one was like my first inspiration to start making Pokemon Go videos. Cause I really liked the way that he filmed his videos. It was kind of casual. Um, he was just out playing and he would just film himself like in the car or just doing normal things. Like it, it wasn't super overly produced. It was kind of just real. And I really, really liked that. And of course he stopped making Pokemon Go videos years ago now, but he was really my first inspiration. If, if, if it wasn't for him, I don't think I would have started making these videos. So yeah, my next YouTuber, um, Mystic Seven. He's another Pokemon <laughs> oh Go God, vlogger. No. He's more about like the cinematics, but you can't help but love his personality. He's so funny, and uh, that is so he always funny. has to record his sunsets. If you're familiar with his videos, Aww. or if you haven't checked him out, you should check him out because it's really funny. He can't resist from recording his sunsets in every video. Okay, this makes me so nostalgic because I remember watching Brandon's videos like 
if I was 19 here, that means he was like young, like 18, 17 or 18. He was a baby back then <laughs> in those videos. And, and he was the one like really cinematic YouTuber I watched at the time. And the sunset thing, that's so nostalgic to me. That's hilarious. It's funny because I actually didn't put the seven in my name because of Mystic Seven. And a little bit after I started my channel and started realizing that people were making the comparisons. I had to always tell people it's not because of him. I wasn't copying him, which used to bother me at the time. <laughs> but I think it's funny that I watched him back then and didn't even really think about it before I put the seven in my name. But that's really funny. The next on my favorites list, yeah, that's all for the YouTubers. But the next on my list is favorite generation one Pokemon. Oh I'm only going to do favorites for generation one because I, it's hard for me to remember names of all the other generations and all that but I'm gonna keep it basic. I will be honest at this point in time like I said earlier in this video I didn't really play any Pokemon games past like Gen 3 maybe Gen 4 a little bit um prior to this I actually started playing Pokemon Go and then went back and played Gen 4 through 7 at the time and then of course 8 came out later whatever um but I wasn't super educated about a lot of Pokemon I knew what some of them looked like but I was like a Gen 1-er, like the typical person who like thinks Gen 1 is the best, blah, 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 you know. It's weird how the dynamic changed. Like Pokemon Go reintroduced me to the Pokemon world and made me like even bigger of a fan than I was when I was a little bit younger. Dick. Um, if we're just talking about like starter Pokemon. Pokemon. Um, probably Charmeleon. <laughs> is Charmeleon? My favorite starter. Did I say, did I say Charmeleon or Charmander? Let, let me go back here. We're talking about like starter Pokemon. Um, probably Charmeleon. <laughs> him Charmeleon instead of Charmander. I know I meant Charmander too because I was probably thinking of the first evolution. That's pretty funny. It's my favorite starter just because he turns into Charizard and he's really cute. He, he was always the one I chose on all the Game Boy games. Don't let Awesome Adam TV see this video because he's going to call me out for being a Charizard stan. <laughs> cute. He, he was always the one I chose on all the Game Boy games. I never changed it up hardly ever. But anyways, um, oh God. and then just for like basic normal Pokemon. Um, Eevee is my favorite, obviously, because he's really cute and, like... I was such a Pokemon normie back then. Like, that is such a normie answer to have. <laughs> he's really cool. Or she. I don't know if it's a he. I didn't even know about Pokemon, like, genders. I didn't even know about, like, if Pokemon could be male or female or whatever. <laughs> but, um, yeah, everything that Eevee turns into is really pretty, too. Not just Eevee itself, but... I'm annoying. Anyways, my second favorite is Dragonair. Um, yeah, stay tuned to the end of this video because I might put my adventure from last night of me catching a wild Dragonair. Wow. So, yeah, that you stuff might used to be a lot more exciting. Um, I just think Dragonair is really pretty and classy looking. It's funny because I haven't thought about Dragonair again since this video. Like, it, it changed so much since I recorded this. Like, I, I'd never think of Dragonair as, like, my favorite Pokemon. It's funny, though. You know. And then my next favorite is Aerodactyl. I actually hatched one from a 10k egg a while back. And he's at 400 CP right now. And I'm actually maxed out there. I think I have to level up to max to... Okay, up this is more. actually really funny. Yeah, this is like way before I leveled up enough to get my Pokemon to like higher CP. It was like 400 CP meant a lot to me at this time. I kind of missed that original grind of Pokemon Go when everything was special and new. And like you were really trying to finish your Pokedex. And look how excited I was about hatching... A Aerodactyl from a 10 kilometer egg and now I have like five shiny Aerodactyl I hatch them and catch them all the time in different events and this and that <laughs> so weird but yeah Aerodactyl's just really cool and like he was always cool in the games being like a fossil Pokemon yeah. or whatever or rock Pokemon I think that's what he's called both actually and uh my last favorite is obviously Charizard um, I hate to be so basic and not go out of the box and pick something crazy, but, like, Charizard is my all-time favorite because, like, I got so excited when I was younger finding a Charizard card in one of my Pokemon card packs and, like, on the game, it was such a big deal when I finally got my Charizard and, like, he's just so... I'm a dirty Gen 1-er. I'm a dirty Charizard fan. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm not really familiar with anything past like generation three though so it might be hard for me to do that i'm gonna have to study up on that though i will say i've become like a pokemon encyclopedia since this video because i did a lot of research for different types of videos like uh i did a lot of countdown videos for like main series pokemon like top pokemon of this type or that type or whatever i did a lot of pokemon go content that had to do with all these different pokemon in the newer generations and stuff and 
it's weird. Like YouTube really made me learn a lot about Pokemon and my knowledge now is like I can name every Pokemon. If you showed me a picture of each Pokemon up till Gen 8, like I would know them all and it's just cool to see how far I've come with that. I'd like to know more about the later generations, but anyways. Okay, number five. This is about my future videos. Um, basically, this is going to be a Pokemon Go channel. Um, I was right. Maybe other things here and there, like other types of games and just random exciting videos. I'm not sure exactly yet, exciting. but it's mostly going to be Pokemon Go. Um, I, like I've mentioned a million times, um, I do really like makeup. And I do want to make makeup videos, beauty videos, things like that. But I don't know if I'm going to keep it on this channel or another channel in the future. So. I'm so glad I didn't do that because it was such a like oversaturated market at the time. It's a weird way to put it, but that's really how it was. YouTube was like way oversaturated with makeup videos. And there was only a select few people doing Pokemon Go content. So I think I picked a good niche to follow for years because uh, there wasn't a whole lot of like competition there, if that makes sense. And um, stay tuned to the end of this video. I'll show my wild dragonair <laughs> that I found in the Walmart parking lot last night. And um, I will warn you, the video has a little bit of lag. Oh yeah, those screen recorder apps used to be terrible. It was like AZ screen recorder. Oh my god, it was so bad on that crappy Android that I had. <laughs> and this was back when those Walmart rare spawns were hitting, okay? Record <laughs> my screen and me at the same time. Um, it does lag a little bit, so I have to cut it off every now and then. So I don't show the full video. I'll just show you like when I first found it and then after if God, I called it or not. I was so so bad. stay tuned for that. And um, yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Um, make sure you comment, like, subscribe, all of that. Share a million times if you want. <laughs> I was so desperate. I'm like share a million times. Oh, oh my God, I can't cringe. I really want this channel to go somewhere and I just got my second subscriber last night. This is just my third video, so. My third video? Okay, this is actually the first one I have on my channel, even in the private section, so I must have deleted some things up to this point. Um, I feel like I probably had some, like, screen recorder videos. Like I said before, this was, like, my face reveal. I do have a memory of doing screen recordings. I probably deleted them because they were terrible. Probably because of that lag that I was talking about. <laughs> and there slowly but surely. I just hope that I can get more publicity and get this out there because this is really fun to do and I love it. So yeah, um, just comment any future video ideas you might want to see and make sure you subscribe if you watch this. Like, if you watch this and you liked it, <laughs> make sure you subscribe. I was I'll literally be really begging for that. subscribers. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Okay guys, we're here in the Walmart parking lot. I just found this Dragonair. It's 800 DP. What this is wild Dragonair. I'm like, it's a wild Dragonair. I have the little oh, face cam too. I know, That's the funny. phone's lagging. Uh... <laughs> oh, so awkward. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm gonna have to stop recording so you can catch this. I'll let you know what happens after that. <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> Okay, so I had a really crappy phone at the time, and uh, it was kind of holding me back from starting, and it, it was one of the things that made me not want to start doing Pokemon Go videos, because I remember those early days, like, all my screen recordings were laggy like that. I tried going live a lot, and that's one thing I didn't really mention. I did start live streaming a little bit after this video, like, a couple months later, and um, my, my streams were always laggy, so to those people who have been with me since the very beginning and dealt with all that lag and stuff and the horrible quality, God bless you. Thank you. <laughs> Okay guys, so I caught the Dragonair, my first catch of the night, this is a freaking 800 CP Dragonair, and check out his appraisal. My accent! It really amazes me, defense is strong, excellent stats, and it's rather sizable, that's like almost- Wait a minute, this is way before we had like a IV rating system in the game, we had to use the like third party IV checkers to know the like percentage and stuff, and we didn't have the stars and all that, like we had to go by- what the um, team leader said to figure out the IVs of the Pokemon. Perfect, I think. That was a good Dragonair, actually. That's a pretty decent moveset. I'm actually, I'm getting on my Pokemon Go account right now, and I'm going to see if I still have this exact Dragonair, or if I um, transferred it. I could have evolved it to a Dragonite, actually. Oh, this is making me nostalgic. This is like the first time I've recorded something from Pokemon Go and put it in a video. I don't really miss making Pokemon Go videos, but I'll always be nostalgic about it. It does still mean a lot to me that Pokemon Go got me to where I am now, and can't believe this is where it all started. Isn't it strange? 
Okay, uh, this Dragonair is from 2019. That one's a shiny. That's obviously not it. Let's see if I have Dragonite from... We gotta go to the lowest date on my account. So, this one's from, yeah, 1-17-2017. Greenville, Tennessee. This is the Dragonair in this video. I evolved it to Dragonite. That is so wild. So, I still have it, and I need to nickname it, like, first video. That way... I know it's from like my first video that I have on my channel right now. That is wild. Let's finish this up. Okay, guys, we have this Abra here, 213 CP, <laughs> but I need all the Abras I can get, so it doesn't really matter. I was grinding those candies for that Abracadabra, or Alakazam. I call it Abracadabra, whatever. <laughs> Gosh, the lag was so bad. It's so uncomfortable to watch. I must have turned off the face cam so I wouldn't have any lag, but clearly it didn't work very good. <laughs> oh, he ran away. Oh, man. <laughs> it ran away. That is hilarious. That used to be so painful when things would run away and you really needed the candies. Like, I, I've sort of gotten spoiled nowadays, but man, that used to suck really bad. And I think that's the end. That's officially the end. So after watching that, I'm a little bit emotional, honestly. Um... It's just strange to see how far I've come. Like, a lot has changed, and at the same time, not much has changed. Um, a lot of my dreams sort of came true. Like, I achieved what I wanted to achieve. I got to almost 100,000 subscribers from Pokemon Go, and I'm sure if you told me that at this time, at 19-year-old me in this video, I would have never believed that that would ever happen. And it's like, now I feel like I'm kind of back to that same point. Like, I'm, I'm back at a new beginning and I want to start making videos about other topics now so it's kind of like I'm back to square one like I was with Pokemon Go and I'm just going to switch it up and do something else now but I just can't believe how far I've come and like I said I want to thank you guys for being here on this journey with me on YouTube it's been a wild ride and it's cool to go back and see where I started and if you guys want to see more videos of me reacting to like my really old videos please let me know if there's a specific video I should react to let me know in the comments comments down below but yeah that was a nice blast from the past and I guess I'm gonna wrap up this video right here so thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed it make sure you hit that like button subscribe if you're new to the channel to join my Gengar gang and I will see y'all in the next video bye